Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL in statement with a subquery. So, um, in order to do that, I'm going to first start with the OR statement, then we're going to move into the in statement, and then we will use subquery substitution. So, let's get started here. And the first thing I want to do is um, inside the SQL Training Online Simple Database, I want to do a select star from the employee table. And so when I run that, you can see we have 14 rows. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get three different employees here. I want to get these first three employees just by selecting out their employee number. And so in order to do that, I need to put a WHERE clause on here. So I put a WHERE clause where employee underscore number equals the 7369 um, for the first one. Or I want the employee number to equal the 74.99 or I want the employee number to equal the 75.21 and so this is how you could write this query um, and let's go ahead and run it and see if we get back what we think we should so we got the three rows back that we want to get back and you can see there's a lot of typing there um, and I had to type employee number three times well, that is where the in statement comes in. So let's substitute that first. And so I type in, and then I simply put these three values separated by commas. And let's get the last one here. And I can get rid of this. And so this is the same query that I just ran using the in statement though. So let's go ahead and run it. And so now we got our three records. And so we've talked about the OR statement now. We've talked about the IN statement filter. The last thing I want to do is I want to substitute a subquery. So let me tell you what a subquery is real quick. If I went and do a select star from like the customer table, you can see in the customer table I have a salesman employee number. And so if I want to get the employee numbers out of this table, I would just simply go um, type in select cellman sorry there's no s in that column for some reason S um, employee number from customer and so I got just the salesman and I don't want nulls so I'll say where cellman employee number is not null and so that'll take me down to just the numbers I want and then we have a repeat and we're just going to go ahead and put a distinct on here and let's get our list of numbers so now we have a list of salesman numbers right and just like we have here we have a list of salesman numbers well instead of listing all the salesman numbers I want to take the results of this query right here and I want to put them in this list right here and what you can do is you can take this and it can become what is called a subquery so I'll copy that and just paste it right in here. And so now what it'll do is it'll run this query first. That's why it's called a subquery. It's inside of another query. And it'll run this, get this list of employee numbers, and insert it into this in clause. So let's go ahead and run that. And there you have it. So that is the subquery substitution for the in clause. As always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below click the like button or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video.